five. Here are three simple sessions to help you run a sub 20 minute 5K. And if you repeat these at least twice, so six weeks of training, ideally repeat them four times, so 12 weeks of training, you're gonna put yourself in a place to run a 5K PB. This is all you're gonna do. Week one, on your interval day, ideally midweek, Wednesday interval day, you're gonna do two times 10 minutes. And you're gonna run those two times 10 minutes and pace it as well as you possibly can. So it's not like your typical run when you go out there for four, five, 6K, 10 miles, whatever your easy run currently looks like. This is you pushing for 10 minutes at a time, 60 seconds rest in between, and knowing in that first rep that you have another rep to do. So 20 minutes of hard work. That's your first session. Your second session is simply five minute reps and you're gonna do four of them. So four times five minutes with 60 seconds rest. So after that first week of longer 10 minute reps, now you're gonna do five minute reps. So you should be able to go up in speed. And again, it's about pacing the four reps Knowing in that first rep, I've got three more of these to do after this first rep, I've got to pace it well. Check your times on those 10 minute reps and five minute reps to see what you're capable of for those 20 minutes split into different ways. So 10 minute reps, five minute reps, what are you capable of? What pace are you capable of holding? That'll give you an indication as to where you are right now and how long it's going to take you to run that sub 20 minute. 5k. If those are run at four minutes or less than four minutes per kilometer pace, you're already in a great place to run that sub 20 minute 5k. It's just a matter of consistency over these next six to 12 weeks. The third session, very, very, very simply, but it's actually more difficult than the other two, is 20 times one minute. Now, you're gonna be able to move over the ground faster. You're gonna be able to push faster because it's split up into 20, not just two times 10 minutes and not just four times five minutes. It's more split up for you, which means more recovery. 20 minutes of recovery, 20 times one minute with 60 seconds rest in between. So you'll be able to push the pace, but now is the important part is you've gotta pace it. You've gotta pace 20 of them. For me, psychologically, I split them into four groups of five. 20 times one minute, but split them into four groups of five, and it becomes psychologically manageable, easier to, to, to really push, but pay, focus on pacing each individual rep and the total interval session. If you can get those three sessions right, and you can look at your times, you'll start to get a really good idea of what you're capable of for running 5K. I would repeat those for six weeks or 12 weeks to really understand what you can do on race day and what it's also gonna do for you by pacing 20 times one minute or four times five minutes or two times 10 minutes, you getting used to pacing yourself for shorter reps, medium reps and longer reps is gonna make you better at pacing the 5K. It's difficult to pace a 5K. It's easier to pace a marathon once you're well-trained but to know how to set off and at what pace to set off. And then when it gets harder than that fourth, third or fourth kilometer to really dig in and know that you've got less than half left, that's where it really counts. And then to finish strong, that is an art that takes practice. But interval training, 20 times one minute, four times five minutes and two times 10 minutes, if you repeat just those three types of sessions, you're gonna put yourself in a great position. And if you could do that for 12 weeks, set yourself up with a nice nine, 10 day taper, and then go for it at the 5K, you're gonna be in a great position to run sub 20 minutes for 5K, or whatever your goal currently is. And that can then be your benchmark for a more sophisticated training program on the next time. Good luck. And if you have any questions on that, pop them in the comments below.